All right, so continuing our audio test and lesson in Rosanna by Toto. So in the first lesson, we covered this main groove. <laughs> Haven't seen that video. Should be in the link uh, in the description down below. That lays out the probably the hardest part of the song, aside from like maybe the fills and the solo. Once you get that groove down, the rest of it's pretty easy. So it starts off in the key of C, but we're playing on a G chord. And then it's just going to go down to an F and an E. Or an F and an E minor. But in this case, the way um, uh, Steve Lukather plays it, he's going to play an F with this G at the top. And it sounds like he's got like a little vibrato going on and then an E minor seven. Back into the groove. So to play that F, um, it's just the third fret of string four, second fret of string three, first fret of string two, and the third fret of string one. And then the E minor seven is gonna be all six strings. Starting from the one closest to the ceiling, open, second fret, second fret, open, third fret, third fret. And then once you get past that and you get back into the C riff, or I'm sorry, the G riff, and play it fully through once, and then hit the C power chord, which is going to then change the key to the key of B flat. So then after you hit that C, you're on an F. Now there is a clean guitar under this distorted guitar. I know I didn't hit my distortion pedal, but just imagine it's there. The F is going to play the same groove as the G, so same thing we did up here on the third fret of string six and the fifth fret of string four. You just do it down on the first fret of string six and the third fret of string four. Then you hit an E flat power chord. And then we go to a D and you're just hitting this as palm mute says. Like a dotted quarter notes. And that will take you up to the pre-chorus part. Um, might as well just throw in the pre-chorus part here too. So the pre-chorus part is just a two-part harmony using thirds. And then a fourth. And then you get an overdub of guitar that does this G minor. So the first one I'm hitting is a G minor, which is on the middle two strings. So the fourth string at the fifth fret and the third string at the third fret. And I just move that minor third shape up a whole step. So now I'm at fret seven and fret five. And here's the cool uh, trick with it. You're gonna slide into a major third rooted on the eighth fret. So eighth fret and seventh fret. So you're just sliding the ring finger one half step but slide the index finger one whole step. And that's a cool trick to get used to. So if you don't get it right away, just kind of do that a few times. So it starts to feel comfortable. And then re-examine it tomorrow, and the next day, and it'll get easier. So we got a G minor, then an A minor, to a B flat. And then while holding this B flat, I'm just going to sharpen this note on the G string from the seventh fret to the eighth fret. So I'm basically playing the eighth fret of string four and string three. Then I'm going to take away that eighth fret of string three back to the seventh fret. Still holding on to the eighth fret of string four. And then back to the A minor, seventh fret and fifth fret. And then repeat. G minor, A minor to B flat. Second time through, you get the power chords. That's an E flat power chord rooted on the sixth fret of string five. B flat rooted on the first fret of string five. And then F 
root on the first fret of string six. Playing those as three finger power chords. And I kind of drag that E flat off. And we'll get into that riff the next time too. I just want to keep this one short. We'll do another one to follow up, which will kind of take you into the chorus. And maybe we'll do the solo and stuff like that too. All right, so thanks for joining me. Uh, come back and see me for the next one and have fun with it.